I'm Bob Henriks, Now.com, and I'm here with Anthony Germani, who's president of PMI. Engineering in, a, in a, an environment that is very much a decoration-oriented house must have been a very difficult job for you. This was actually a complete renovation that you've done here in this, this beautiful home theater, another one of your beautiful home theaters. Why don't you give us a couple of details? Yeah, Bob, when we started with this room, uh, the, the client actually had, had uh, called in because it was time for an equipment renewal. Uh, this room was originally done more than 15 years ago, and uh, technology had evolved. The room, however, was uh, not treated acoustically. It was all white. It, it had no ergonomic consideration at all to it, and it was time to do an, an actual theater in here, something real, not just throwing equipment up on, onto the walls. Um, so we, we did a complete aesthetic, aesthetic treatment that matches the rest of the residence. The whole residence has beautifully carved plasters, carved marbles, beautiful woodwork, and um, found a way to integrate all the finishes that are found around the residence into what ends up being an absolutely stunning private cinema. Well, why don't you tell us a little about about the ceiling? That must have been a, a big challenge. Yeah, uh, w one of the things that you'll find throughout the residence is these beautiful carved ceilings. And we found a way in here to integrate and bring in some of that carving. And the ceiling is actually a shape that was specially engineered to be diffusive. So the sound that hits it, rather than reflect back to you like a mirror and, uh, and cause problems if it's just reflecting, it's actually scattered very specially in the room so that it, it goes into the listening area in a, in a diffuse and smooth way. Well, right behind the residence, out, the, out that window, is, is the patio, um, where there are other plasma TV screens. But you've had to do a special treatment on that window so that you couldn't hear music here or the sound or the theater when it's on. Right. The, the doorway out that way uh, was a regular door with double, regular double pane windows, but it was clear that we needed to provide some sound isolation. So we layered the doors with a special, what's called a, a mass-loaded vinyl barrier that's in this case transparent so as to block the sound from going through the windows. And again, we have a special treatment with the curtains. They also absorb why don't you go into that a little bit too? So in, in front of the, those doors, those patio doors, is a is a, a removable. I mean, it's 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 actually operable uh, a drape system, which is multiple layers and in, incorporates absorptive materials inside. So we can see how the engineering and the technology has changed, but how you can adapt it to an environment that was already a home theater before. Correct, yeah. So of course, to, to meet the aesthetic requirements of the room, we concealed all the equipment. The, the speakers are behind acoustically transparent fabric. The center speaker is behind an acoustically fa uh, transparent screen. The equipment is all uh, concealed behind noise isolating enclosures that are in carved woodwork. And of course, the entire room is wrapped in the right fabric behind which hides the surround speakers the subwoofers, the acoustical treatments, all the wiring, all the electrical gigas that make the system work. Well, thank you very much for this visit and thank you very much for showing us another one of these beautiful installations that you've been working on. Thank you, Bob. Thank you.